guys <gasps> oh. so i meant to be vlogging my week and i had committed i was going to vlog my leave week but it's tuesday it's 5 pm and this is when i remembered that i'm meant to be vlogging my week but you know what i'm on leave so i'm just taking life really really easy this week but i just wanted to show you um what happens when a business owner is on leave like do we work do we do anything that's part for working spoiler alert yes we do work but it's it's in a relaxed way so as you can see i'm on leave hence the dera very comfortable outfit because we are on leave and i will keep on saying that i'm on leave because i have been waiting for this leave for goodness how long um so what did i do yesterday since i didn't vlog i slept so we had the kenyan business shower the first edition on saturday this past saturday it was beautiful but very tiring very very tiring um elma and i are going to tell you more about it so you're going to meet elma because i'm meeting her some point this week so you're going to meet her and you're going to tell you more about it and how it was for us and all that so yesterday i rested and rested and rested sunday as well so funny thing i was so tired on sunday huh? i went to have lunch do you know i couldn't eat as i was just i was just like i was like i can't so i just put my food in the fridge and i was like you know what i'm going to eat when i can eat which was at like 7 30 p.m i was tired so i'm so grateful that i'm having my leave this week because a eh, yeah sunday was crazy monday yesterday what did i do oh i slept and slept and then i just caught up with my friend and then i met my aunt and we had like the perfect date it was so sweet like you know those discussions or conversations that you have and you just feel very uplifted and you feel like there's a weight that has been released off your shoulders that's what happened so yesterday was great in fact that's the best thing i did for myself on my leave weeks so i feel very relaxed and especially mentally i feel like i really really let go of a lot of things then today oh no wait something else so let me tell you there is nothing as humbling to a business person like when you see your bank account you know it's like you have money 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 and then you best talk ha ha so that was me yesterday i was talking to my suppliers um i was making orders for me my closet and then baby the way at the beginning of the day i was just like wow wow my bank account but i knew money was going to leave but still so when the invoice came and it was time for me to make the payment i was just like um yeah 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 one boy money is gone so that thing was so humbling eh? it's so humbling if you are a retailer i'm sure you can relate and then so for me my intimates i also my stock actually arrived so today that's what i was doing i was taking photos actually i have some of my things here i have to market myself yeah so if you didn't know i sell in a wear and this is it this are some cute cotton onions so i was taking photos normally i'm the one who takes photos for my things so i was taking photos for that and just chilling hanging out with my siblings and then now i want to go for a walk but not now really at like 6 30 pm i'm going to go for a walk <laughs> something else yesterday i was so determined so last week I was like hey i need to resume my walks i need to resume so i'm going to wake up early on monday i don't care whether i'm on leave or you see i haven't been waking up early but then again i was like yeah i'm on leave so i don't need to set an alarm <laughs> so um i'm going to go for an evening walk i think i leave at like 6 30 when the sun is a bit down actually i first need to confirm whether my sneakers are okay because two of my sneakers um were not fine so i had to take them and like both pairs one shoe each had a problem so i had to get them fixed but i want to go check whether they are okay <laughs>
it's now 10 30 p.m i went for my walk i left at 6 30 p.m so of course it was going to be a short walk i was about to say long it was going to be a short walk because it got dark as soon as i left the house i did five kilometers now i noticed that my speed has reduced so i did five kilometers in 50 minutes which okay for me is slow considering like i had been walking but then again i was like oh it's because i haven't walked in such a long time so it's fine so i'm going to improve my speed with time and then after that what did i do i showered I ate chilled with the family then what you saw me doing um i was doing my budget for the month and i was also calculating my you know money for last month so my income and expenses seeing like what i did with my money so that's what i was doing and now imagine i'm not sleepy normally if it was a work week i'd have been asleep by now so like i'd go to bed at like 10 p.m or 9 30 but now again because i'm on leave <laughs> i'm not asleep so i don't know what i'll do hmm I'm going to read a book I'm going to read like it's one of the best books that I've read so far actually let me show you okay it's opposite I think but you guys this is the book you know on Sunday when I told you I was tired let me tell you I sat down I started reading this book on Sunday I read more than 100 pages I actually haven't touched it since I read 138 pages because I'm on page 138 and I'm almost actually I'm halfway done Trevor Noah I know you're not watching this but your book is life it's the first book to make me like laugh like normally I don't laugh when I'm reading books but this one I really loved so yeah that's what I'm going to do before I sleep and I'll call it a day here so I'll see you tomorrow if I remember <laughs> tomorrow. I had left the house I came back changed came to the kitchen and guess what I found this little one here has gillery there's gillery in here let me tell you i don't care whether i did it but i'm going to eat that gillery i said on my stories how i love gillery nowadays and okay let me eat and then after that i'm going to bake a cake for my family so i want to make carrot cake this is my favorite type of cake so that's what i want to make carrot cake and cinnamon any day by the way guys, yesterday when I said that I wanted to read Trevor Noah's book, do you know what happened? I just remembered that I hadn't prepared um, today's Insta stories for Mima Closet and Mima Intimates. Because normally on Wednesdays, I have this or that. Wednesdays on both um, pages. Yeah, this video is actually going to go up on a Tuesday, so please make sure you watch actually you follow me my closet and remind me so that you see this or that wednesday tomorrow so yeah i didn't get to do that because life 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 i had to work and that's the thing like even if you own a business either way you just have to work somehow you know the only time that i have i'm on leave and like i'm not doing anything that's work related um is in december that time like all my phones are off and everything but now of course there are still things that i need to do but it's not like heavy um business stuff so i'm good yeah so let me make this prepare the carrots because this is like my worst part so i to prepare them and then make the cake hopefully i'll be done by what time by 6 p.m because yesterday since it was late i got to walk like less kilometers than i wanted to and today i want to do even if it's at least seven kilometers you know so the only way i'll do that is by like making sure okay i really can't multitask <laughs> but yeah the only way i can do that is by making sure i'm out of the house latest 6 p.m so that i do my seven kilometers <laughs>
I'm with Elmar. Finally, you get to meet Elmar. Elmar, can you introduce? Actually, you guys have seen her in the previous video, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah if you haven't touched it, please. Again. Exactly. If you haven't touched it, please make sure you watch it. Please make sure you watch it. She's a virtual assistant, and she's a co-founder of the Kenyan Business Shower. So this is how we tell you all about the Kenyan Business Shower. Huh? <laughs> I know. I know. When is it? It was on the 27th of February. But that was our first one. Yeah. We are definitely planning. We have to such have big more. plans. Like I feel like sometimes when I pause and think about the plans, I kind of like. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. It's it. Okay. The Kenyan Business Show basically is um an event to celebrate businesses and their superhero business owners, and of course you get gifts gifts that are going to help you um mm-hmm. with your business and what else there was also panelists yeah different topics but now like we are thinking of also how to like make it more in depth of course you can't share yeah. everything here no we got <laughs> yeah we're thinking of how to make it more in depth and people yeah. can even really get a lot more knowledge from that so yeah make sure you follow us and i'm going to link her instagram yeah, yeah. Going to look please, me Instagram. please do please do so that you know when we have the next event you don't want to miss it how many slots did we have 35 we had 30 initially oh yeah and we had after a week like we had to increase the slots yeah so they go really fast they go really, really fast. fast yeah so we're from recording three videos we're tired i know yeah and then we want to do some work yeah and then after that we'll go eat The morning i don't know why i decided to do this in the morning and the way i can barely talk because i've just woken up <laughs> like i can literally feel my throat struggling but anyway where did i leave you off oh yeah i had the date with emma it was really really nice let me tell you the burgers at Triba are bomb the fries were spicy like it was just oh, i i love the burger we had um the beef burger so we went through their page and i was just telling Elma, i cannot eat their burgers like i can't finish them so we have a beef burger which is the smallest and then yeah, they have chicken burger which i'm not a fan of chicken burger then they had other burgers which are like big you know like they have double parties so yeah please try them out um i hope you're going to like them because you know this thing with um burger week um people usually say like you don't get like the best experience with burgers and i've seen that before so i was pretty surprised I actually liked the burger and then you saw that cake that i baked let me tell you a story so kplc did the thing we didn't have lights like immediately i put the cake in the oven you guys lights went actually it was like two minutes after doing it i wanted to cry i wanted to cry but luckily i had preheated the oven so i was like it's just going to bake and we see how this thing is going to go so i baked it with the preheated heat <laughs> So I did that and then um when lights came back which is 40 minutes later and the cake was supposed to be ready in 40 minutes then i continued baking it but i reduced the time and imagine it turned out i was just like but though it's not the first time there's another time i baked and then i think it was like 15 minutes or 20 minutes to the cake getting ready lights did a thing again and they disappeared so you know i had to leave 
my cake there overnight i just demand the oven and me left it there overnight and i was like the heat is going to bake it and imagine when i woke up my cake was perfect so that's a life hack don't remove it from the oven when lights go just leave it there the heat is going to do its thing and hopefully your cake is not going to backfire so i've just been going through um some of the things we discussed with elma um while we were having our burgers you guys we had so many ideas i had to write them down in fact my book is actually here yeah so do you guys do this like when you get an idea you have a book where you write all your ideas so I did that and i was going through it um today actually like five minutes ago i was just going through it so that i see where to start and one thing that became very clear to me at the beginning of the year was the power of networking actually since last year i was like hmm, i need to network more in 2021 which i've been doing but then i really got to see it at the kenyan business shower after the business shower i talked to two ladies i mean like people that started living then of course there's some who remained so i talked to two ladies and then one of them made four sales at the shower i was like wow wow okay and then another one told me she got them and then she came in late she got there and then she sat then you know when people are just interacting getting to know each other she told this lady um her business page and then the lady was like oh we went through it oh i like this and then in like five minutes she had made a sale and i was like i really got to see networking at play and i got to see like like instant benefits of networking so i'd like to encourage you if you can please try and network put yourself out there meet other business people one of the mistakes i knew i made in business was not networking early enough because now i've seen the power of networking i've seen what networking does especially to business people and everyone in general but if you're a business person please put yourself out there if they're networking events attend them if you can talk to people do it if you think that you can do something with someone else do it you know that's actually how the kenyan business shower came about elma sent me a dm to me about it we had a meeting and after that that was it like we planned a whole event and we had never known each other like we first started talking i think in december 2020 and by february we had our first event so that is the power of networking shoot your shot and i'm sorry if you can hear dogs i don't know why my dogs are barking today but yeah anyway so my leave is almost over i'm so bummed i'm so bummed but there are a couple of things i've learned during my leave i'm really sorry and vloggers how do you guys do this <laughs> anyway so there are a couple of things i've learned during my leave um that i'd like to share with you number one is rest is mandatory please take some time and rest and i've said this in a couple of videos but please rest it's going to give you so much energy and you're going to perform way better in your business and also when you take time to rest imagine that's when you start getting the ideas like my notebook the one that i've just shown you let me tell you i don't think i've had all these ideas in such a long time and if i wasn't on leave i wouldn't even have time to think about all those things so if you can just take a moment step back and relax and just you will see like things will start coming and write them down and if they don't it's also okay but just rest and another thing is um as a business owner you never really have leave <laughs> okay so for me december is when i take leave and when i say i'm taking leave in december what i mean is my business is here i'm here like we are not seeing eye to eye i'm not thinking about my business i'm not looking at my phone like everything is off but that also is because um like all my businesses are closed at that time so there's nothing running but now this week you know like my business was still ongoing so i still had to do a couple of things but it wasn't energy draining things so things that were going to drain my energy those ones i didn't do them but things that i needed to do i mean those ones of course i had to do them so do business owners still work when they're on leave here? sometimes you just still have to work the other thing i've learned is that social media can be draining and it's okay for you to take a step back for me social media is my source of livelihood but really um i've just come to realize also sometimes taking a step back is is very very important so i'm not saying that social media is this devil and everything no it's not if it was really wouldn't have been making an income out of it but also just because it's a source of income doesn't mean that it's 100 percent okay it's okay for you to take a step back and just be like i'm not doing social media 
this week even if it's maybe just one platform so like for me i haven't been on my mima consultancy page the entire week and i feel so refreshed i feel very I feel like a brand new person in fact i can't wait to go back to work and just continue because now i feel you know you don't realize how draining it is until you take a step back and then you're like oh this thing actually takes a lot of my energy how do i feel about going back to work honestly i'm not super jazzed i'm not really looking forward to it i wish the leave was longer but isn't that everyone i mean one week um, from the office or from your business is kidogo time and of course you'll want to spend more time away but things have to be done this is adulting whoever told us to look forward to being adult you really lied to us because adulting is a scam it is a scam and this actually is the scam so i have to go back to work which is fine you know what things have to be done so i will do whatever it is that needs to be done so that i achieve my goals by the end of the year so i'm going to leave you here thank you so much for watching please go follow the kenyan business shower on instagram i'm going to link it and make sure that you attend the next event you don't want to miss it elma and i are already planning how to make things better because this was our first one so of course we've learned a couple of things and you can't wait to see like how things are just going to get better and better and better and i guarantee you, you want to be part of that you want to join that community because we are building a community around that and you really want to be part of that community because the plans we have for that community okay so it's not just attending the shower and that's it's like we're actually planning a lot a lot a lot a lot so yeah you want to be part of it and just thrive in your business and thrive with people around you and please men attend the next kenyan business shower yeah you man who is watching this and you have a business please attend the next kenyan business shower imagine it's not just for women like there's a lot that can also benefit you as a guy you know it's funny how there's no man who attended till now i'm still trying to figure it out but yeah i do have men so please if you want to join and you're a man this is your invitation please come also before i leave if you're a vlogger i really respect you because oh it's a, it's not easy remembering to speak the camera okay maybe it's because i'm not used to it but one thing i also realized there's a lot of thinking that goes into it okay if i need sit down videos there's of course a lot of planning i have to do my research and write a lot of notes down and everything by the time i sit in front of a camera there's that but this i think there's also a lot of thinking in terms of as you're vlogging because i realized like when we were at riba i wanted to vlog but i was like oh the music i don't want to um show people's faces you know like there's just i was like oh my god there's just a lot of thinking before doing it so yeah i really respect all vloggers am i going to vlog i don't know you tell me whether you've enjoyed the vlog whether i should try vlog here and there not all the time because me i'm not a vlogger <laughs> so try and let me know whether um, you'd like me to vlog and i will try and vlog here and there yeah so have a lovely week um i will see you here next tuesday in the meantime may all your dreams and goals come to pass and if you haven't already please subscribe and like this video Bye bye